Hello again. What I want to do is continue on with the sort of tour of SQL Server Integration Services 2008. And in this demo, I want to show you the aggregate um, uh, transformation. And so what I'll do is um, I'll look at, I'll show you the source file that we'll be using. So it's in my SQL Server examples, aggregate data and it's just some monthly spend data. So this is the data, we have customer ID and we've got some monthly spend information for um, and then some dates of various months alongside that and what we'll do is we'll just average um, the, uh, the monthly spends for each customer. So three monthly spend um, rows for each uh, for each customer ID. Right, so I'll just close that so I can actually connect to it. Um, right, so first of all what we need to do is just create a new package. Do that by right clicking um, SQL Server Integration Services Packages and then what I'll do is I'll rename that and call that um, Agri uh, Aggregate rename the package as well. So what we need to do is pull across the data flow task as I've mentioned in previous um, demos. This is the envelope really in which uh, the most of the hard work is contained. So we just now we're inside that envelope so you can either do it click across on data flow or like a, or just double click on it. And what we need to do is pull in the data source. So the data source we looked at before was a, uh, a text file. So I pull across a flat file source. So we've got that onto the workbench. I'll double click that flat file source. Um, and we go through to the flat file connection manager. I'll say it's a new connection manager. Um, I'll call it aggregate. Um, I've, yeah, I'll give it a more meaningful monthly spend connection. So that will connect to the monthly spend file. I have to point it in the right direction so it's in the aggregate folder monthly spend. There we go so it's all filled in by default which is normally pretty good. Column names in the first row of data. Check the columns. Got three rows of data, so the unique customer ID, we've got the monthly spend, then a bill month and the, and the day in which that, um, that bill arrived. So we've got three rows of data for each customer ID and what we'll do is we'll average the monthly spend per customer. I'll preview that, I was saying that looks pretty good. Check that all the columns are there, that's fine. And like I say, I'll just rename that and call that um, monthly spend. Just call that monthly spend. So that's a flat file source, and then associated with that flat file source, we've got the connection manager. So what we want to do is run an aggregate function on that, and we just what we do is go over here, drag the aggregate transformation across connect to it and then double click on the aggregate function. So what we'll do is for the input columns we'll have customer ID and the monthly spend and on the monthly spend we will calculate. Okay so what's happened here is that it has only given us count and count distinct and the reason that is, is because we've pulled information through from a standard text file. And as a result, there's no formatting associated with the numbers in the, uh, in the columns. So it's treated as a string. And with string um, uh, data, you can only really do one, you can only do a couple of things. You can count the uh, number of items in that column, or you can do a distinct number of items. You can't average string information. So what we'll need to do is go back and actually transform that uh, the data 
first and I'll do that in the next little segment. I have to break this up into a number of smaller segments because my recording program doesn't like long files.